Hello everyone, welcome to today's crystal channeling and there there was just no getting around it. This was the crystal I was called today uh, to today, malachite, malachite. Um, really just look, I mean, look at that. Just beautiful, gorgeous, sexy crystal. Uh, all that, the, those beautiful orbicular patterns. Um, <clears throat> but it's funny because for those of you who have followed me for a while, you know my uh, know my work. <clears throat> I've written about this in my books, and uh, you know I also talk about this a lot in Pro Crystal Healer about my uh, uh, previous love hate relationship with malachite because malachite is beautiful, it's powerful. Um, it's been a sacred stone since ancient times. Um, it's used a lot in jewelry. You know, it's really gorgeous. Um, and it's got a lot of great, you know, uh, properties in terms of accelerating healing, uh, helping us tap into our leadership abilities and our nobility. You know, this is really uh, the stone, you know, we, if we dip into Arthurian myth for a second, you know, this is the stone that helps to transform the Fisher King in into the healed and hale and hearty, you know, king who then rules and heals, you know, the land. Um, um, it's a deeply, deeply healing crystal. But one of the things that it, it does, part of its mechanism, um, um, is it, it, it it's very magnetic, energetically speaking, uh, not scientifically speaking, but energetically speaking in terms of drawing out illness, drawing out pain or, you know, blockage or inflammation, uh, but also drawing uh, uh, buried emotions, emotional baggage, traumatic memories, etc up to the surface of our awareness, our consciousness, so that these things can be addressed, they can be released, resolved, healed. Um, and when I f had my first experience working with malachite that feels like five million years ago now, I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know this. And so, uh, and of course I tuned into it very powerfully right away. Uh, uh, and then spent like a good two, three days just like as this epic hot mess, you know, crying, despondent, depressed, like what is wrong with me? Because it brought all this stuff up to the surface. So, you know, it's an interesting, interesting crystal. You know, crystals can be so very complex and how our systems, how our bodies respond to their energy can be so very complex. Um, and we'll see what comes through today because, you know, I'm not the boss. Uh, 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 I'm the vessel uh, in this work. And so we'll see what comes through from the Malachite consciousness. But my, uh, what I'm interested to see is maybe if we explore some aspects, some, some deeper uh, uh, meanings or messages from this crystal, especially given where we all are collectively as well as individually on our paths right now. So I'm just gonna tune in. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that malachite energy, it's, it's fast, boy. It just comes right in. I'm feeling it a lot up in here, throat, heart, a little bit of the spiritual plexus, uh, chakra or an energy center in, that's in between the, the solar plexus and the heart. And now I'm feeling it drop down. It's really hard to hide anything from that malachite frequency sniffs things out. Now I'm feeling energy move up through here. And what's interesting is there's an embracing warmth that I'm feeling from this crystal today. I mean, it's very uh, strategic. It's got like, in some ways, I, I almost want to use that term laser focused energy. Usually we you know, apply that to um, quartz or ruby, let's say, but. Ah, interesting. So, and this kind of makes me think of the crystal reading from last week, but what it's saying to me is it's it's activating purpose in, in this at this time, especially for those of you who maybe feel uh, maybe feeling called to work with Malachite right now is part of what it is doing for us healing wise right now is starting to lift the heaviness and the blockage 
from us experiencing joy. And, you know, we go through like these really hard, challenging times. And, you know, I can understand that some people may turn around and say, how is that important right now? You know, we've got work to do. Things are serious. People are, you know, dying. You know, this is awful. People are losing their businesses, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, um, and that's all, you know, it, I, I can see. I can totally see things from that point of view. Absolutely. Um, but the message, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let it speak in terms of what the message is. So it's saying joy is one of the highest frequencies. It helps to elevate us, uh, elevate us, helps to elevate, elevate us, uh, in our experience, elevate us as people, as our frequencies raise a lot of the things that are bogging us down have less impact and effect on us. And yes, this does apply to EMF. Yes, this does apply to the effects of 5G and atten antennas and all this other things. Yes, it applies to, you know, collective conditioning that comes at us through media, etc, etc. But it also applies in terms of how we respond to things in our lives, how things affect us in our lives, how we choose to react. And what it's saying is that for a lot of us, especially for those of us who have, you know, signal to the universe that we're, we're ready to evolve in our consciousness, we're ready to heal, we're ready to grow, we're ready for positive change. Um, um, you know, for those of us who have signaled to this, you know, part of the message that's going to keep coming through this year is how can we find joy? How can we find beauty? How can we find wonder again? And this doesn't have to be all through the day. I mean, that's not real. That's not being realistic, right? We're going to have up and down moments all throughout the day. Uh, but can you take those moments where it's possible to experience that joy? Because as that elevates your frequency, and shifts your energy, it shifts your mindset, it shifts your experience, it, it shifts how you're feeling emotionally, and that starts to pattern out in our reality. And one of the, the messages I keep receiving is, uh, you know, how we relate to our reality actually affects our reality, it creates our reality. You know, classic example, if you're driving 60 miles an hour down the highway, you know, that's that's a, a, a legit speed, right? That's a decent speed. But if you're driving that way down, you know, a very curvy, uh, a small town country road, it could be reckless, it could be too fast. Nothing has changed except how we're relating to our reality. But the speed in and of itself is the same. Um, but how we relate to it emotionally, etc., it's different. And so how often does that happen in the structure of reality? And so, you know, what the Malachite is saying is that when we're, when we're you know, really kind of, uh, uh, you know, energetically blocked and we're held down and we're held back from these higher frequency uh, feelings and energy, because this is how human beings tap into a lot of these higher frequencies is through our feeling body. You know, when we're too weighed down, that starts to pattern out and reflect, re, 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 uh, re, impact how we relate to our reality, how we're emotionally relating, our, relating to our reality. And then that, you know, especially when we're in, you know, the, the lower, uh, uh, harsher, heavier energies, you know, emotional energies, that then is what is creating our reality and helping to build and create our experience. And again, for those of us who have signaled to the universe that we're ready to grow, evolve, change, um, you know, part of the spiritual activation that's now happening is helping to clear some of that blockage, helping to clear some of that heaviness, some of that experience, so that we can come back into a place where we can access and connect with these higher frequency energies through our feeling body. And then that is what starts to shift our mindset. That is what starts to shift, you know, how we relate to our reality. And that's what starts to co-create the different experiences that we're hoping to grow into, evolve into, create in our lives for ourselves individually, as well as our community, as well as our world. And, and this isn't about something that you have to process. You know, in healing, we get really, really pulled into that conversation of a process, 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 working through the process. What Malachi is saying is, bang, no, this isn't about process. This is about just letting go some of this old, blocked, stagnant energy that's holding you back that simply is just hanging around, but it's no longer of service. Um, um, and, you know, that's, that's a really... Uh, a, a beautiful thing because sometimes 
We just need the energy to move. We just need the energy to shift and change without having to laboriously, you know, work through every little thing. And so again, for those of you who are really feeling called or drawn to Malachite right now, this could be why. This is part of the universal spiritual activation that's now happening for you to start shifting internally, energetically, so that this then patterns out into your reality. And of course, as we're creating our realities individually, we are also collectively. And Lord knows the whole world needs healing. The earth herself needs us to shift how we're being. So this is all part of a micro and macro cosmic thing that's happening. And this is deeply spiritual work that we can be doing right now with Malachite to help us access again, these higher emotions, these higher frequencies, gratitude, uh, love, joy, abundance, you know, sweetness, um, um, all these lovely experiences that it's really hard for us to reach up and access when we're so held down. This is also true for those of us who feel sick right now, who feel tired, who feel burnt out. You know, it feels almost impossible to get your frequency back up. And sometimes even some crystals that you may seek to work with in terms of that uh, I can fry you a little bit more. But so this is the really beautiful thing about the Malachite medicine and message that's coming through right now. So for those of you who feel blocked, who feel burnt out, who feel tired, who feel stuck, um, as well as those of you who feel like I am ready to open up because just even in myself, like I'm feeling this V-shaped sort of almost funnel. Um, um, and as the energy is drawn up, I'm, I'm feeling more clarity. I'm feeling more lightness. I'm feeling more space, spaciousness, uh, which is actually a wonderful feeling for me because I haven't been well these past couple of weeks. Um, and it's interesting because I personally wouldn't have... Um, turned necessarily to Malachite to shift that energy. And so that's obviously why I was called to do this channeling because, you know, the messages and the medicine, you know, that come through that I share with other people, I also need myself, right? That's part of, you know, being in the holographic universe that we are. So, um, you know, thank you, Malachite. I'm actually really grateful to you. I'm grateful uh, for this message. I'm grateful for this medicine. So again, for those of you, uh, uh, it's saying, you know, this is a really powerful activation month, spiritually as well as psychically. And I feel like some of that may have come through in last week's uh, uh, crystal reading as well. Um, so, so yes, so that's, uh, that's the channeling. That's the message from Malachite. So again, for those of you who feel called to it or feel like you need help, uh, get your Malachite on right now because crystals, you know, and how they interact with their ener our energy can always be very different. We can have different experiences. It's something I like to tell my students. There's a universe inside of every crystal. And I really think we've only just begun. In fact, I, I know we've only just begun to tap into the magic and majesty and power uh, within these beautiful beings. So bless you and, and thank you. And I hope that that uh, was of service uh, to you all. Um, and uh, for those of you who are interested, my mediumship program is definitely opening up in March and it's going to be amazing, very different, very a spiritually explorative work actually is coming through uh, uh, for uh, my programming this year on the Academy. So if you feel called to Malachite, you don't have a piece of it, uh, definitely grab one. And for those of you who aren't sure in terms of where to buy crystals, I do have a Conscious Crystal uh, listing, uh, um, Conscious Crystal Shop listing on my website and I'll drop the link here in the description or if you're watching this on Instagram the link is in my bio uh, uh, where you can find online uh, physical but also online stores that uh, have mandated uh, conscious uh, sourcing in terms of ethical sourcing, in terms of working with minds and communities that are uh, sustainable or seeking to be sustainable, uh, because it is important that as we do this work consciously with our crystal beings, we're also sourcing um, our crystal beings consciously and respectfully from the earth. So again, as I said, I'll have that link there for you. 
and I hope that this was of service to you and there will definitely be more magical crystal channelings and videos coming your way in the next few weeks. So thank you for holding space for me and being part of my community and I look forward to sharing more with you guys soon.